lay out three traits yeah. of ultra successful people. Yeah. I don't know if they're yours or if you they're read not. them somewhere. This they're is not mine. so brilliant. And yeah. when you said it, you put words to something that I have felt for a very long time. Yeah. Um, if you don't remember them, I have them here. But if you remember, I them, remember them. Yes. Uh, and so it's there's three traits that people then they looked at because they were trying to find habits of highly successful people. And when they actually pulled apart, it's not you know. And I hope I'm not con con contradicting anything. Um, but there's people who are really rich who wake up really late and work really late. And there's people really rich who wake up really, really early. And there's people who are really rich who eat really healthy. And there's people really rich who drink Coca-Cola and eat French fries every day. And so there's all these things that we want to make as truths, but there, there's easy examples that counter those things. So it's like, what are the few things that are true, or at least that seem to be present in all of the situations? And it seems as though there were surprisingly few. And so the three common traits that they had, or that they had found were one, that people have a superiority complex. They believe they're better than others and they believe that they deserve more than everyone else does and that they can accomplish big goals, mm. right? So they have a bigger vision because they believe they deserve it or whatever it is that they were able to identify that. The second thing that they were able to identify is that they had crippling insecurity <laughs> and which, which is a paradox of paradoxes. They feel they'll never be enough um, and they'll always be measured against the things that they've achieved. And so you've got this crazy dynamic between they they think they're better than everyone. They think they deserve more. They want to go after this big hill. And at the same time, they fear they'll never be good enough. And they'll never actually achieve it. And they actually suck. Mm -hmm. And then the third piece, which kind of adds the beautiful like mix of this is impulse control. Mm -hmm. And so they're able to control their actions and focus on a single thing for an extended period of time. And so if you put those three things together, it's like you've got a big goal that's pulling you this way. You've got this big fear that you are running away from and then you've got impulse control to keep you focused on the one thing that matters. It's not, do I have them or not for the people who are listening? Because people like to think, yes, I have it, or like, oh, well, I have all three of those. Mm. It's not having them. And I'm sure you've, you've interviewed some of the most successful people on the planet. It's how much do you have, yeah. right? And so I think that like your ability to delay gratification, it's not just like, oh, I can wait a week or I can wait a month. But it, I made this tweet that, that went pretty viral. And it was like, if you can wait a year you can make a ton of money. Like if you can do something for 12 months, you can not need for financial goodness pretty much for the rest of your life. I'm not saying you're gonna be hella rich, right. but you're not gonna need for anything if you can wait 12 months. If you can wait a decade, you're going to be ab above the 1%. If you can wait 10 years for an outcome, be able to do the doing without seeing the result for 10 years, you will be able to be above any most achievement of most people. And if you can wait a lifetime and you don't even need to see the result of your doing this, even while you are alive, but know that it may get done after you pass, then I, I believe that you can change the world. And I mean that.